Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 5, simplest form. Page number is 511. Guys, in last lesson we told you about fractions and equivalent fractions. Now some fractions, they are not in simplest form, so we make them in simplest form. So a fraction is in simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. Like for example, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a fraction like this. Uh, 6 over 10. Now do you have a common factor? Common factor means that do you have any number with which you can divide both the numerator and the denominator like you have to divide you can only divide in this okay to make the simplest form you only divide you will not multiply if you multiply you'll get a bigger fraction so the simplest form is always the shortest one the smallest one okay so what you have to do you have to divide with same number up and down now check guys with which number you can divide can you divide this with 3 6 divide 3 yes 2 but 10 divide 3 it's not possible it will not be completely divisible okay let's choose 2 you can divide this by 2 and this by 2 so 6 divide 2 and 10 divide 2 6 divide 2 3 10 divide 2, 5. So this is the simplest form of this fraction. Got it, guys? This is how we create simplest form. Now, 2 is the greatest common factor with which we divide. It is the greatest common factor of 6 and 10. Okay? After making the simplest common simplest form, we check again that can we divide further? So is there any other number we can divide this 3 and 5, the same number up and down? No, no more. So this is the simplest form. Okay. Let's go down here. There's a fraction 8 over 12. Now you can divide this one by 2 also. If you divide 8 over 12, by 2. 8 divide 2, 4. 12 divide 2, 6. Now guys, see this is not the simplest form. Why it is not the simplest form? You can still divide this fraction by 2 again. Divide 2 up, divide 2 down. 4 divide 2, 2. And 6 divide 2, 3. Now, this is the simplest form, okay, because you cannot divide this one further. So, instead of dividing by 2 once and then dividing by 2 again, you directly divide by 4. So, 6 divided by 4, 2, and 12 divided by 4, 3. Now, how you know that you have to divide by 4, okay, the first way you can check like divide by 2 or 2 or you can directly divide by 4 by looking at the numbers. The second way, you can find the greatest common factor. Okay, how you'll find the greatest common factor? You'll find the factors of 8 and you'll find the factors of 12. Okay, factor pairs. You remember boys, factor pairs. How we find the factor pairs? Let me show you here. See this? Factor pairs of 8. 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. So these four are the factors of 8. Now what about 12? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Anything else? Nothing. So these three are the factor pairs of 12. Now you'll find which one is the greatest common factor? If you see, one is common means, guys, the one which is in both. One is in both. Two here, two here, yes. 
8 is not there. 4, yes, it is here. And uh, nothing else, okay. So from the common factors are 1, 2, and 4. And from these three, the greatest common factor, the greatest one is 4. So that's why we divide by 4. Okay, let's move to the next page. 6 over 8. You can divide uh, 2 here and 2 down. 6 divide 2, 3, and 8 divide 2, 4. So 3 over 4. And you cannot divide it further. So this is the simplest form. 2 over 4, you can divide 2 up and 2 down. 6 divide 10, you can divide 2 up and 2 down. 5 over 6, there is nothing. You cannot divide any number up and down same other than 1. Okay, if you divide by 1, you will get again the same thing, 5 over 6. So this is already the simplest form. 4 over 12, you can divide by 4 up and 4 down. Okay, so you can divide first by 2 and then again by 2. So it's better directly divide by uh, 4. So 4 divide 4, 1 and 12 divide 4, 3. Okay. Uh, how do you know that 4 over 5 is in simplest form? Because we cannot divide a same number up and down. That's why. Okay. So, uh, in independent practice, guys, you'll have to solve all these questions by yourself first and then match your answers from this video. Here you have to find out the missing numbers like from the denominator you will check that they divided by which number how they get 5 from 10 10 divide 2 is 5 so 4 divide 2 is 2 so it will be 2 over 5 let's move to the next page okay so the table list the length of some objects in a classroom, what part of a foot in each object, write as a fraction in simplest form. So, uh, uh, guys, one foot is equal to 12 inches. Okay, remember this thing. One foot, write it down here in your book so you remember it. One foot is equal to 12 inches okay so with all these you will write because they ask us what part of a foot so one foot is equal to 12 inches so you'll make the fraction with 12 the denominator will be 12 okay so for pencils 6 over 12 and then you divide by 6 up and divide by 6 down so 6 divide 6, 1, and 12 divide 6, 2. For crayon, 3 over 12. And then you divide by 3 up and 3 down, so 1 over 4. For scissors, 9 over 12. And then you'll divide by 3 up and 3 down, 3 over 4. Pencil box, 8 over 12. So you'll divide by 4 up and 4 down, and you'll find 2 over uh, Ricardo has made 4 out of the 12 recipes in his cookbook. What fraction of the recipes has he made? So 4 out of 12, 4 over 12, divide by 4 up and divide by 4 down, 1 over 3 of the recipes. Similarly, these 3 questions in the Brain Builders. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand the lesson, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.